folks in this video we'll be looking at how to upgrade your base model next um, to more or less the plus model um, I'm not going to be fitting the uh, real-time clock because that involves some soldering I'll just show you how to do the plug-and-play stuff um, the plug-and-play stuff includes the accelerator board which is a Pi Zero um, this you can buy online um, I will put the link down below uh, with the header fitted already so there's no soldering needed so it's literally plug and play you can plug it straight into your uh, next motherboard and it works uh, you will however have to download some software um, onto the mic onto a micro SD card which you will have to supply um, that's easily available it's for, get it from specnext.com forward slash latest distro I think I'll put again I'll put the link down below um, and once that's on and this is plugged in your next will be uh, accelerated uh, I will also be fitting a couple of RAM chips um, this will upgrade the next to a full one megabyte and I'll be fitting the um, Wi-Fi uh, unit as well uh, which again is just plug and play um, links down below to where you can find all these things okay so let's get started you'll have to turn your next over flip your feet out you've got screw here screw here screw here screw here screw here screw here all six of those will have to come out um, for you to be able to access the uh, motherboard so I'll just get on with doing that all right once you've removed all the screws you will now be able to lift the back off now this does take a bit of wiggling around because it's a nice tight fit it's a really well made bit of kit the uh, next so everything is a bit tight which is how it should be so give it a good wiggle both ends right lovely and the back is off uh, now we're left with the board exposed um, there are four screws on the main motherboard and four screws on this daughter board here so we'll get to uh, removing those once that's done the motherboard will lift up daughter board is also attached by a ribbon cable be careful not to just yank the thing straight out because your keyboard is connected via these uh, rather thin uh, connectors so those just need to be given a firm pull and there you have the board that can be put to one side for now right to fit the Raspberry Pi it is just a simple plug-in make sure that you've got all the pins lined up correctly before you push it down that's that done the Wi-Fi unit is just the same plug and play and that just fits in this section here make sure you've got the pins lined up again and then push it home and fitting the RAM is just plug and play again make sure that when it is pushed in 
is lined up with this side of the socket because there are two, well there are four pins this side here that aren't used. it goes and then the same with this one make sure it's lined up to this end of the socket my fat fingers there we go and that's the ram upgraded as well that's basically your upgrade done. Only one thing to be done now, and this is the thing most people have been having trouble with, from what I can see. Just pop that out of the way for a second. Is the blanking plate. This has got a blanking plate held in by one screw, which apparently is a devil to get off. We will see. Apparently you have to give it a good wiggle. It feels like you're going to break the case apparently. <laughs> yep. It's not easy to get off that. Give it a push from this end as well. Tell you what, come back in five minutes, I might have it done. Two hours later. So I've figured out how to get the blanking plate out a bit easier. Basically, instead of just pulling it back, you need to push this end down whilst pulling. Um, because this section here sits behind that lip there which stops you just from being able to pull it straight out. So you have to angle it like that, basically, to get it to remove. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you just try and pull it, you're never gonna get it out at all. You need to angle it and pull it at the same time. So there's a bit of a knack to that one. Right, that then, once that's removed, that will expose the USB ports and the uh, video uh, port on your Raspberry Pi. So now it's just a case of putting everything back in. Make sure when you do, that your keyboard connectors are back in and then it's a case of dropping this back into position you may have to angle the case down in order to get your stuff through the ports It's quite nicely in there, it's quite easy to put in. And then it's just a case of putting your screws back in. Four in the motherboard, four in the daughter board, six in the case. I would advise, as with all plastic um, cases, that as you put the screw in, you just turn it anti clockwise until you feel it click into position. And then screw it down that way you will use the existing thread as opposed to cutting yourself a new thread with your screw it's so easy to uh, break the posts off in these plastic cases that's a little tip 
um, I've picked up over the years uh, from all the ZX Spectrums and ZX Spectrum Pluses that I've uh, had to deal with. And there you have a uh, accelerated Wi-Fi enabled and upgraded RAM Spectrum Next. Uh, the only thing that uh, is left to fit is the real-time clock. Um, I will hopefully be doing another video on that as it involves some soldering. Thank you very much for watching.